and welcome to another episode of Unscripted. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. Can't do that on a camera. Not on camera. Ha! Beat that! <laughs> this is my show, and now you have to go. No, I didn't say it was your show. I said you're the host. You said it was my show. Like, like the Grammy Awards. You know, whoever hosts it, they don't own the show. They just they're just hosting it. You are the host of the show. I guess. I'm your sidekick. But it's not like we have a different host every week. Like they have a different host like every year. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna really love the fourth question. You are gonna. Okay. Right after I say it, you're gonna like. You're gonna have an answer. Okay. <laughs> okay. First, what was the smartest decision you had, you have ever made? Dating this woman and asking her out. Uh, um. Probably. Going to Pathfinder, going oh, to our oh. yeah, going to our local vocational school instead of the um like regular academic school. I I'm I was I didn't want to deal with academics every week again. Yeah. Like I'm glad it's like a break when we get shop week. Shop week is great. <laughs> What is your best question to get to know someone? Have we had this? I don't think we've had this. Hmm. I think it would be, um, I, I, I've There's had this question before questions. for something. And I'm, the best question to get at, to know somebody is, what is your favorite thing to do, I think? Yeah, I guess I'd agree with that. I don't know. There's a lot of questions that come to mind. I guess that one could be the best. Yeah. <laughs> or what's the most important thing in life to you? Yes. Where would you like to live? L.A. <laughs> or... L.A., no question about it. Big city. I was looking up online. Yeah, big city. Boston, L.A., New York, New York city. city. Um, I was looking up online how... Like what, how many subscribers do you have to have to make a li to get enough money to make a living off of YouTube? And they said, now I've always talked about how it'd be amazing to be in the top 100, but they said, if you were in just the top 1,000, you'd make 20, around $27,000 a month, which is enough to, um, you know, support yourself for a house and everything. That's awesome. <laughs> like you, you could. Uh, I. It's like that's like getting paid around thirty dollars an hour from a job, and that's like almost six thousand dollars a week. Uh. Cool. Yeah. I said that would be so cool if I was up in the top one thousand because then not only could I support just myself, but then I have you who could also pay for the other half, so we'd have tons of extra money. Yeah. Or you know what? You know what? You could just be a stay-at-home person. Oh. I don't want to. I'll, well, actually, I'd be a stay-at-home person, too, because it's YouTube. Sure. I don't know. YouTube is I... my dream job, because it's it's what I like doing, and you do it whenever you want, basically. I'm thinking I probably want to be a website designer. Yeah. I don't just want to do nothing. But you have to admit, being a YouTuber and that being your job, like... Yeah, that is pretty good. That, like, that's easy. Okay, are you ready for the question you're gonna flip out? I guess. Should animal hunting be banned? Yes! Are you kidding me? Of course! <laughs> why? Like, why should you kill an innocent animal for no reason? Like, hunting, usually it's just for the game. I mean, it's kind of different if you're, like, hunting so you can eat the animal. But, like... Even then, I don't know. There's there's a lot of like vegetarian foods out there that people should start eating. I think it's kind of inhumane and stupid to even kill animals to eat them. Really, I I agree with that. But I, I also do think that 
if it was someone that like is like a hobo living out in the woods or homeless person living out in the woods, they should be able to well, support themselves. Yeah, I mean, like it's different if that's what you need to do to survive. Yes. That's that's completely different. Because, like, sorry. <laughs> what? Well, it's still not nice to kill the animals, even if you need it. But well, yeah, I mean, it's not really a nice thing to do. But like, I wouldn't be against it so much. Yeah. Because like animals kill other animals to survive. Like, it needs to happen. <laughs> if you could own an exotic pet, what would you choose? Hmm. Probably a zebra. And I would probably name it Zakora after one of my little pony. <laughs> is is a panda an exotic pet? Yeah, they're Asian. Choose a panda. Pandas are pretty cute. Dude, pandas are freaking all I love a panda. I'd be hugging them every day. <laughs> it was a nice panda. I'm just a heartbroken panda. panda. In Japan, Japan, I'm the saddest panda oh, in like all of the land. I don't think that's how the beat goes. <laughs> I don't think so either. I'm going to tweet this to Jesse Kale. See if he sees it. Oh my gosh. Dude, if he sees it and comments on it, I will fanboy until... The day I die. Same. I, I will just never stop crying. I fanboy every die. time Jesse Kill tweets to me. Never mind commenting on the video and watching oh it. Oh my god. I know. When he favorites my tweets, I just I die. When he favorites, yeah. And then Raphael Serrano. He tweets you all the I, time. Yeah, I, I don't fit. I don't fanboy when he tweets, but it's I, I think it's still really awesome. Yeah, didn't you like used to fanboy, but it just it happens all the time. So it's yeah, he like... tweets to me a lot. Like we're we're like friends. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. If I ever go out to LA, I will I will tweet to Raphael. Hey, I'm out in LA. We should we should hang out like kind of Maker Studios and oh my god. Ah, uh, it's like my dream. Ah. Oh, I was gonna say I can meet Jesse Kale too, but Jesse moved back to Ohio. Yeah, he did. He did move. Well, Except when Jesse Kale goes to, the, if he goes to visit LA again, which he, he probably would. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Which he probably will. <laughs> I don't know. Then I will go. Too. Yeah. So I would vlog every second. You would. Okay, what's, a, what's the next question? And Ray. Yeah. Gotta meet Ray. Oh my gosh, if we met Ray and Anna. Oh, Did something just happen? I think a light went on. They're all free. The okay. light changed somehow, I swear to God. <laughs> I know, I saw it in the thing. <laughs> what? Thank you for watching this episode of Unscripted. Have a holly jolly Christmas Eat. Wait. There's one more week before Christmas, right? Yeah, there is. So, but have this is still our holiday episode. Well, holiday week. week of episodes. Next week will also be. We can make it more holiday-ish somehow. Yeah, amp it up a little bit. Maybe. If you guys are lucky. <laughs> All right. Bye. Love you, Jesse.